Hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? So I was thinking the other day, you know, I watch all these videos about, oh, this aspect of this country compared to America or this country compared to another country and which one's better and all this kind of stuff. And I was just thinking, I wonder what the best countries are, particularly in Europe, you know, since that's what this channel is focused on. Top 15 European countries with the highest quality of life. 15 European countries? Isn't that like all of them? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea how many European countries there are. There's a lot, isn't there? That's got to be at least like half of them though, right? Like how many are there? There can't be more than... 45. Anyway, these are the top 15 highest quality of life. I can just already imagine people people leaving me mean comments. That's okay. I deserve it. The Geography Bible. Go check them out. Link down below. Top 15 countries with the highest quality of life. What makes a country livable? Well, quite simply, it is a place that is nice to live. Some place where you're not going to die. Which crosses America off the list. <laughs> you might die randomly in America. If not from consuming the super processed food, then maybe just in school or something. Would you like to live in a country with lots of crime? High I'm just kidding. I like America for the most part. Pollution, expensive housing, with low salaries and extreme heat or cold? Probably not. There is no perfect country and quality of life depends completely on your personal mm. circumstances. You may live in a country with a low quality of life score, but have a fantastic job, live in a big house mm. and have a pretty good life. In this video, we will give you our top 15 countries in Europe with the highest quality of life. So without further ado, All let's right. kick off this video with number 15, the United Kingdom. That's number 15? Damn, sorry UK. I thought UK would be way up there. Just kidding. I mean, 15 still good, because how many European countries are there? 16? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> God, the amount of people I feel like I'm, I'm offending. I'm sorry. The beauty of the United Sorry. Kingdom is that it comprises of four different nations. England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. So you essentially have four different cultures. Yeah, couldn't you have split all four of those up? ...and ways of life. Also speaking the same language with their own dialect and twang. The UK has the fifth yeah. largest economy in the world, providing a strong workforce with many booming sectors. So Germany's GDP is bigger than the UK's. I guess I never, I mean, I knew that, but I never realized, I, I, didn't, I didn't know that. God, what is wrong with me today? The UK often ranks as one of the best countries in the world for doing business and for startups. Because it's USA, China, Japan, Germany, then the UK. Okay, got it. The education system also ranks as the best in the world, with some of the most the prestigious best. universities being located there. Climate, wow, safety, okay. and... I guess that's not too surprising, but I didn't realize it's just straight up the best in the world. Cool, cool. Cost of living do hinder the UK's performance. They aren't all particularly bad, but compared to other countries in Europe, it does let it down. The UK also has some very deprived areas, meaning it ranks no higher than 15th place on the uh, list. Being from the USA, I can't judge. Number 14, Estonia. Estonia is Estonia. one of Europe's most spacious countries. In Estonia, you are never more than 30 minutes drive away from a forest or lake. The living environment is very clean, relaxed, and safe. According to the World Health Organization, Estonia has some of the best overall air quality. Look how clean, I was gonna say. Look how clean this looks. I mean, I can literally see how clean the air is. Like, you can see them for miles. I think I can see America or China or something in the background. Um, Estonia is low key an awesome place, isn't it? in the entire world. With a population of just 1.3 million, Estonia is a hidden and underrated gem in Eastern I'm looking Europe. something up. It ranks as the... This is really stupid, but... Yes! I knew it. 
I didn't want to say it out loud until I confirmed it, but Kristen Tatar is from Estonia. There you go. Best female disc golfer right now. <laughs> Shout out to any Estonian disc golfers. Safest country in Europe, scores high on the traffic index, as well as being the fourth least polluted country on the continent. Damn, look, yeah, there's no trash. It ranks decently for cost of living and even better for its property price to income ratio. Wow. Overall, a pretty nice chilled place to live. Its climate and weak economic power are its biggest drawbacks. Number 13, Italy. Italy ranks above the average in income. What does he mean it's cl Oh, it's, okay, okay, okay. Like the weather. Okay, I got it, I got it. And wealth. I don't know why I'm so stupid. I was thinking like they pollute a lot. Like when he said climate, I thought of pollution and but he had just said they didn't pollute. So I was confused, but no, he just means the weather. Got Number it. 13, Italy. It. Italy ranks above the average in income and wealth, work-life balance, civic engagement, Italy. social connections, and health status. Damn, but imagine living there. Oh my God, what if you fell out your window? Health status, but below Don't average in housing, well-being, environmental quality, jobs and earnings, personal security, education, and skills. One thing the Italians can be proud about is their Pizza. life expectancy, ranking as the sixth highest in the world. Really? 80 freaking four. How do you guys do that? How do you how do you live that long? And the second highest. Because in the US, it's like in the 70s. And it went down last year. In Europe. Perhaps this is due to their generally healthy Mediterranean cuisine, alongside great climate and an active population. This can backfire, however, Sounds... as Italy has one of the oldest populations in the world, creating an aging population which seriously... I guess that's what happens when everybody lives for till age 100 impacts the economy and growth potential. Mm. Italy is a beautiful country and Damn, offers... look at that building. Everything it's covered in moss. ...from cosmopolitan cities, oh, ancient that's it, ruins... That's beautiful. ...and stunning pristine beaches across the Mediterranean. Number 12, Slovenia. To begin with, Slovenia is one of the... Is this the... I'm just gonna straight up admit it. I never heard of it. Never heard of it. Slovenia. How can there be a country in Europe I've never heard of? Slovenia is one of the safest countries in the world. But I gotta admit it, Therefore, I just have The life haven't. environment is great. The life in Slovenia is pleasant, with exceptionally low crime rates. In Slovenia, you can find almost anything, from mountains to lakes to caves, wild rivers, beautiful clean cities, castles, and even the sea. Do people live out here on this tiny-ass island? It is a very underrated country that most people often underestimate. Slovenia ranks I definitely above the did. average in job and earnings, I didn't even housing, know it health status, social connections, education and skills, work-life balance, environmental quality, and personal security. It is only below average in income and wealth, civic engagement, and subjective well-being. To no surprise, Slovenia ranks as the fifth most peaceful country in the world. Slovenia is geographically located in a great place. I mean, who would it be a jerk enough to attack this place? Like they're just happy. Look at this freaking place. It's beautiful. The weather it looks nice. There, it's not even big. It's just a small place. Why would you attack it? It isn't far from the Adriatic coast, Mediterranean climate, <laughs> mountains of the Alps, and many other countries with similar or different culture. Number 11, Spain. Spain ranks above the average in work-life balance, income and wealth, housing, health status, social connections, and personal security, but is below- Social connections. I wonder how America ranks in social connections. I think that as- more and more as time goes on, people will just become more and more isolated. Like, everybody just seems to be sitting at home, like I am right now, on my computer alone. So average in civic engagement, the environment's quality, education and skills, jobs and earning, and subjective well-being. Spain's climate is up there with the best in the world. The south of the country nice. especially, which receives Mediterranean pleasant heat year-round. One of the reasons why it makes our list. Spain ranks as the country with the seventh highest- Look at those freaking benches. ...highest life expectancy in the world and the third highest in Europe. Sixth best healthcare system and is considered to be a generally affordable country to live in, mm. especially when 
when compared to others on this list. Spain so does not a bad, not a bad country to retire to. Quite low for financial statistics, business openness, and corruption levels, which prevents it from placing higher <laughs> on our list. It is worth noting, however, Holy that its heritage, shoot. history, food, and culture is certainly up there with the best. That's the most beautiful freaking. That looks like absolutely the future. This is like Elon Musk's Mars Society world. Number ten, Germany. The economic powerhouse of Europe. Germany is the largest country in Europe when it comes to economy size and population, excluding Russia, which spans across Europe and Asia. Germany is a fantastic country for business, high salaries, and quality of life, which doesn't come to a surprise as it is a behemoth in the car and tech industry. In 2019, Germany exported over 140 billion US dollars worth of cars alone. Hold up, I just want to see that real quick. Germany, Japan, US, Mexico. What cars are from Mexico? I know some American companies make cars, like have plants in Mexico. Maybe that's, is that, does that count, I guess? Interesting, but damn. It's mostly Volkswagen, isn't it? Like, I just know Volks Volkswagen is huge. They're not super huge here in America, but I think they're that explains that's probably half this number here, right? I think. Alone, by I far think. the most in the world. Although Germany is a very wealthy and prosperous nation, it is surprisingly cheap to live in, in comparison to many of its European neighbors. Oh, really? Germany doesn't particularly rank super high in any of our metrics, other than those related <laughs> to business and finance. However, it does rank quite steadily across the board. Probably still ranks higher than America in all the metrics. Number nine, Sweden. Sweden boasts mm, a high human Sweden. development index score of 0 0.93. I'm Maybe definitely not mixing it up with Switzerland. <laughs> missing the country in the seventh place in the world rankings. The HDI aims to measure the overall quality of life in a country and is a figure comprised wow, of that. life expectancy, gross national income, and expected years of schooling. Sw I was just, I, I wanted to see how Japan was. Very dark, very dark green. <laughs> Rise of life expectancy, gross I don't know why Japan just always sticks out to me. Like out of all the Asian countries, I would love. I would definitely like if I had to pick one. Japan. I love Japan. Don't know why. Just do. National income and expected. And years Taiwan, of I guess. Sweden is a wonderful place to live with very kind people, excellent public services, and corporate culture that encourages people to have a great work-life balance. It is no surprise that many people decide to move to Scandinavia's largest country to enjoy all things that Sweden has to offer. Sweden ranks as the third least corrupt nation in the world, the fourth least polluted, and the fifth highest in Europe for life expectancy. Number eight, the Netherlands. Maybe the number one most corrupt country in the world, though, is just so corrupt that they corrupted the documents. You know what I mean? Like they corrupted the people who went there to, to assess how corrupt they were. They like paid them off to put them up there as number one. The Netherlands ranks top in work-life balance and above the average in jobs and earnings, housing, education, skills, subjective well-being, social connections. Oh, they're kind of like Americans here, aren't they? Look at them. Look how many flags. They're all super proud, patriotic. Personal security, civic engagement, health Waving their flag. and environmental quality. It's fair to say the Netherlands is a great place to live. Apart from ranking... I feel like a European would just be offended to hear... That their country, like, don't, did you just compare us to Americans? <laughs> Take it back. As the third happiest in the world, the third Netherlands happiest. doesn't rank particularly high in any of our metrics, but is steady across the board, like Germany. The thing that I personally love about the Dutch the most is their incredible English, and over 90% of the population speaking it fluently. Mm. They also speak great German too, as a country which helps this relatively small nation to do business with other countries, as English and German are two important languages in the world of business, thus making the Dutch... I don't know why, whenever I think of, like, countries associated with Germany, I always just think of Austria. I don't think of the Netherlands enough. I think of them more. That is an old-school freaking windmill. The 13th richest... I mean, the, the, whole, the building is blocking half the wind. 
fifth in the world by GDP per capita. Number seven. Sorry. Number what? Making world? the Dutch the thirteenth richest in the world Thir by GDP mm. per capita. Number seven. Okay. Portugal. It is fair to say that Portugal arguably has the best climate in Europe, with Lisbon having the third most sunshine out of any city in Europe. Their winters are relatively mild, with hot but not scorching summers. The westerly wind from the Atlantic often helps to keep it at a pleasant temperature, ranking as the fourth most peaceful country in the world and just missing out on the top mm. 10 for many other metrics. Portugal is also a very affordable place to live and is a top destination for tourists and digital nomads. The quality of life is- What is a digital nomad? Very high in this Western European nation due to a combination- Am I a digital nomad? of relaxed laws, low crime, and great weather, which combine to create a very open and accepting populace. It's Number a badass six, bridge. Iceland. One of the most unique and un There's only 300,000 people living in Iceland. Undeniably beautiful countries in the world. This northwestern European nation is one of those bucket list countries. I almost don't even think of Iceland as being European. Everyone wants to visit. Volcanoes, Whoa. glaciers, geothermal pools, and the northern lights are a must. It's an awesome but place, But it isn't just though. great to visit. It's a wonderful place to live as well. Iceland takes the crown as the most peaceful country on Earth, the second least polluted, wow. and the seventh... You know, uh, I do notice that the most peaceful countries are also the ones with the smallest population. So it's like their army, like... Yeah, no offense to Iceland, but their army is probably like 5,000 people. Like, yeah, they better be peaceful. They don't really, they, they can't really like, they can't really be not peaceful. It would be bad for them. But also, they just seem like nice people. Happiest in the world. Which They're the happiest? Country on Earth, the second least polluted and the seventh happiest in the world. Which Damn. is incredible, considering their climate isn't the most favorable. Yeah, that is remarkable, isn't it? With some months only seeing four hours of sunshine. Wow. The Icelandic people are considered to be some of the friendliest on the planet, and at 98% of them speaking English, this makes living there extremely easy if you do too. Wow, very cool. I don't know anything about Iceland, but hey, now I do. But even if... Isn't it weird, like, even if all of iceland subscribed to my channel it wouldn't it still wouldn't be that big of a channel you know what I mean? like that's so the population is so low there it's actually impressive how how like they've built out their society to how big it is and stuff or how 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 impactful it is and self-sufficient with it being so small number five austria Austria's capital, Austria. Vienna, has historically ranked as the most livable city on Earth. It has recently been overthrown by Auckland and has fell down the ranks throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. If the pandemic mm. was never to happen, chances are Vienna would still be challenging Fun for that way. number one spot. Austria ranks as the sixth most peaceful nation on Earth, eighth least polluted, the ninth best healthcare, and the best country in the world for the traffic index. Austria is also a stunning country, offering some of the most beautiful Damn. scenery in Europe, if not the world. Its central location means it is extremely easy to visit other countries. Mm. The Mediterranean to the south, Eastern Europe to the east, the Alps to the west, and the economic powerhouse of Germany to its north. Number four. That just reminded me, you know what, I have to look up how many countries in Europe. How many are there? 50. I should have known that. 50. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> I said there weren't more than 45, huh? Well, I was wrong. 50. I, you know what? I knew that because it's the same as the amount of states. Finland, often ranking as the happiest country on earth, it's no surprise that Finland makes Finland. our top five. Finland ranks as the fourth best cold. country in the world for the traffic index, the tenth best for healthcare, and officially the least polluted country in the world. These impressive scores also result in Finland being officially the happiest country on earth. Finland's climate. They're the happiest. We finally found them, folks. I'd be happy too if I was carrying around a torch. Also result in Finland being officially the happiest country on earth. 
Finland's climate is one of What's its the major secret? drawbacks. It's geographical. How are they so happy if it's so cold? Location isn't the greatest either, being in northeastern Europe, bordered by Russia. Its GDP per capita and life expectancy is slightly lower than others on this list, which just stops it from making our top three. Number three. And yet they're the happiest. Norway. Norway ranks top in personal security and ranks above the average in subjective well-being, environmental quality. Kind of looks like paradise. Quality, jobs and earnings, income and wealth, education and skills, housing, work-life balance, civic engagement, social connections, and health status. Its dramatic scenery and landscapes wow. make it one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Norway ranks as having the seventh highest life expectancy in Europe, along with some impressive- I just wouldn't even know, like I'm just picturing my life out here, living in one of these houses. I feel like I would, I would die. I don't know how to survive. It's like, where's the Walmart? Where's McDonald's? Did you guys see they're coming out with a McDonald's spinoff? I just have to say. McDonald's is coming out. <laughs> I'm hoping one pops up near me because they're opening up in the Midwest. It's like, it's made by McDonald's, but it's called Cosmics. <laughs> they serve like weird... Um, McDonald's food that's that's not on the normal menu. I'll let you know how it is, guys. Stats such as the eleventh best health. Anyway, there's no there's there's no cosmics here. Not even a McDonald's. A system in the world, third least polluted country. <laughs> how do you survive? The world, only seventh highest GDP per capita on Earth. Norway has by far the highest percentage of new vehicles being electric in the world. Also, mm. at seventy-four percent of car sales. Damn, you know the GDP per capita must be high in Norway. I just get that vibe. I don't know. Just seeing this picture right here, they look wealthy. GDP per capita, Norway. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! I was right. And I could tell just based off this photo right here. I mean, these people, they're living right. <laughs> being electric. In second place is Iceland at 45. And if, and if people are buying Teslas, like the whole country's buying Teslas, then you know. Not that Teslas are super expensive. But yeah, they're new. You know, you have to buy the whole charging thing for your house. They're not cheap. Percent. Norway are leading the world in the electric car revolution, which makes sense considering how seriously they take health and pollution. Like many other countries similar to Norway, its climate isn't exactly desirable, and <laughs> it is a very expensive place to live. Number two, Oh man, that Denmark. sucks. Yet another... Of course... One of the nicest places to live is super expensive. Scandinavian country on this list. The Scandies are clearly doing something right. If you search for the top 10 countries in the world for the best X, Y, and Z, you will repeatedly find Denmark. Really? As the third most Look at the peaceful. water. Even the water is that healthy. Full, the fifth best it's pure blue. The eighth least polluted and the least corrupt nation on earth. Fair Denmark, say, least corrupt. Or that's what they want you to think. Things are looking pretty good for Denmark. Denmark is one of the best countries in the world for work-life balance. It is also an exceptionally well-functioning and family-friendly place to live. One thing that lets Denmark down is that it is considerably expensive, especially mm. when compared to other countries on this list. Mm. And although its climate- It all looks very clean, very functional, you know, very functional somehow isn't particularly awful it's not as great as say spain's or portugal's no bull crap in and denmark finally number one can you guess which um should i guess I, i'm kind of afraid to guess because i'm probably going to be so wrong switzerland country it is it is Switzerland. Switzerland is one of the most beautiful uh, countries on uh, Earth. The Alps uh, offer some of the most picturesque views our planet has to offer, alongside some of the best skiing, if you're into that. It's no secret that Snowboarding. That Switzerland is a very wealthy country. Its citizens are paid well and there is plenty of money to be made in this country. Their privacy laws regarding banking have made them notoriously known around the world, allowing very mm. wealthy individuals to store their wealth without the threat of northern right. governments taking a peek in. Switzerland ranks That's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. As the Even though it does get abused, 
I just like I'm 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 a fan of privacy, especially in this day and age where cameras are watching your every move, microphones are listening to everything you say. Uh, and, uh, the the overlords of the web are like intercepting everything you do online. I like a little privacy. Pick the richest nation in the world when it comes to GDP per capita. Good job, Switzerland. It must be noted that the nations that rank higher have much lower populations. Switzerland ranks as the seventh most peaceful country. Oh my God. Switzerland is just one big golf course. In the world, the fifth least polluted, the sixth safest, and the second highest in the Human Development Index score, wow. only behind Denmark. One thing that does let Switzerland down is that it is a very expensive country, which does balance out if you have a high salary. But for those working, wait, I'm looking up the Switzerland GDP. Switzerland. Holy crap! jobs it can be challenging so there we have it our top 15 countries with the highest quality of life in europe if you live in one of these countries let us know what it is like in the comment section below thank <laughs> that was an awesome video shout out to the geography bible shout out to switzerland and everyone else on this list i mean that, damn europe must be nice if the uk was the first one Europe must be nice. Okay. Um, hey, I told you to go away. That's what I thought. Anyway, thank you for watching this 26 minute long video. I don't think there is anyone still watching, which is why I can do this. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Goodbye.